I'm Tracy Townsend. We begin 10 TV news at noon today with a breaking news update. Logan County officials say search efforts are underway at this very moment following the deadly tornado that hit that community late last night. Right now, the sheriff's office there in Logan County says at least three people are dead. Within the past hour, we got an update from Mary Rutan Hospital in Bell Fountain, and that is where a number of people went with their injuries last night. A spokesperson tells us that 25 people were seen in the emergency room as of 10 o'clock this morning. Injuries include bruises, broken bones, and some internal injury. The conditions range from, range from stable to serious, and some of the injured were in fact transferred to other hospitals in the community, including we're learning Grant Medical Center. 10 TV has been there for you since we broke into programming last night at seven o'clock. And at this hour, our crews are spread out throughout central Ohio as rescue crews. First responders are still trying to get to those who need the help. That's why we have live coverage for you. Live team coverage. In fact, right now at noon, we have crews from Delaware County to Logan County. First, though, we want to start with 10 TV news reporter Kiara Lake, who is live near Russell's Point in Logan County. Kiara, how does it look in the daylight? Yeah, still a lot of destruction here left over. We were here around four o'clock in the morning. So much damage and I want to show you what damage is still left over. If you see here behind me, a tree has completely landed on a roof from the home, so we know there will be a lot of cleanup. This area is actually not the hardest hit area. I want to show you down the way here too on a boathouse that the roof has come off of this roof house. So there's going to be a lot of cleanup. Let's take you to what we saw this morning. Actually, a lot of damage in the area. We saw down power lines. We saw gas leaks or heard that there were glass leaks in the area, and there was a search last night, as you mentioned, with three known deaths, and they're working to confirm right now what the next of kin. So we don't know a lot about those three people, but there are grid searches going on now, and at 4 a.m. they stopped those searches and those rescues because they had searched those areas more more than once. Now they started back up again at eight o'clock this morning to go back over those areas more safely because the gas was turned off and the state rescue team is on their way starting at Orchard Island. A lot of places they couldn't get to due to gas leaks will now be searched and at this point they don't know of anyone unaccounted for. They do know that this will take a lot of time and a lot of work to return to normal. We're heartbroken by the devastation that's come upon the Indian Lake community, but we very much appreciate the fact that there has been such an outreach, not only within the community here in Indian Lake, the entire county, in fact, many counties around us. And that outreach includes donations. And if you would like to give back to this Indian Lake community, you can drop those donations off at the Indian Lake High, High School. They're collecting trash bags for their cleanup efforts, as well as toiletries and things needed for the people who live here. Reporting here in Russell's Point, Kiara Lake, 10 TV News. Kiara, thank you. The Logan County Sheriff's Office has been posting updates to their Facebook page. And while they say donations are helpful, they do want to remind people that unless you have not been contacted directly by emergency agencies to help with search and recovery efforts unless you have been contacted directly. Do not go to that area. They do not want to be crowded. We heard the sheriff give that uh, admonition during his news conference earlier. We want to get out to Clay Gordon, who has also been out in the field all morning. Clay, what have you been able to see since the sun has risen and people are really able to see what happened out there? We're seeing extensive damage, especially here in Lakeview, Ohio. This is just one street, but we're seeing street after street after street, including North Main Street is basically destroyed. Uh, lots of businesses, town halls, veterans memorials and homes are damaged right now. So 10 TV was here. This is on North Oak Street where I'm standing. And this was as firefighters and sheriffs actually came down this street when the daylight uh, rose and they were going through all the debris. They were searching. We even saw some uh, other rescue crews with dogs searching the rubble. They were going house to house to see if everyone that lived there was accounted for. And then after they went through that house, they would spray paint a large X on the doorway, sometimes a window or a wall to show other first responders that they have checked that house 
and they've moved on to other things. Now, I also want to show you a huge issue out here right now is power. There are down power lines everywhere, and there are, is no power in this village right now, too. And we're also taking you right out here. This is 366 if you uh, come back out live with me. This road has been closed since we've gotten here, and Ohio State Highway Patrol and the Logan County Sheriffs have had this closed off. You can see AES crews, uh, AES Ohio power crews are rest restoring the power lines and the down poles there because they have been all across the roadways the whole time. The reason why this is so important that they're trying to get this road back open right now is because for Orchard Island off of Indian Lake, this is the only way in and out of this area too. We're also seeing we're right next to US 33. Finally, since we've been here, it has just reopened to some traffic. Tracy. All right, Clay, thank you for that update there in Logan County. We also saw the same storm that tore through Logan County, tear through Delaware County. And this afternoon, we're getting a first look at the damage in the light of day. In fact, just moments ago, our team arrived at Olentangy Berlin High School and Middle School. 10 TV News reporter Kevin Landers is live there right by the football and baseball fields. Kevin, tell us what you're seeing. Well, Olin Tangy Berlin High School and their middle school got blasted by the storm. You can see behind me the storage facility, but there is so much more. Take a look. These metal signs twisted like aluminum foil. Take a look at the grandstands where the, this is the baseball field destroyed. That grandstand toppled over, crumpled. Then take a look at the scoreboard. It was also just bent almost in half. Now, just beyond that is the middle school. We're told by the school district that the roof on the gym was partially torn off. The good news is the building is still standing. The high school over here, the football field, the stands are still up, but the scoreboard blown apart. This is all part of that storm that blew across. The good news is, thank God, the storm happened at night because children would have been playing out on this field during the day. But as you can see, the damage is widespread here. They're still assessing exactly how much damage here is at the school. We'll be here all day. We'll bring you the latest coming up tonight at 4 o'clock. Reporting live in Owen Tangy, Berlin, Kevin Landers, 10 TV News. All right, really descriptive there uh, from Kevin Landers on the scene there at Owen Tangy, Berlin. Jessica Van Meter is here. You have been watching this and we wanted to first have you talk about what we know about all of the possible tornadoes that came through the state. Yeah, we had a lot of activity going on through the evening overnight hours. A few different factors that went into that. We had a high of 74 degrees yesterday, so a lot of warm, very moist air. That's a lot of fuel for those storms. We also had a lot of spin in the atmosphere, which is one of the reasons we had to worry about tornadoes and not just severe thunderstorms. Let's look at the shear tracks we can go back and look at. Basically, it's a measure of how much spin we have in the atmosphere. So where you see that green is indicative of some shear possibility. So we see that going through Indian uh, Lake yesterday and then continuing across Union County and even into Delaware County where we had some further damage. Uh, one tornado report right now out there in Indian Lake that we've been talking about, but a slew of potential tornado reports that the National Weather Service is going to be investigating uh, today and in the coming days. And we'll get more information about that as their crews assess all of the damage. Tracy. All right. Thank you so much. We'll check back in with you. We want to take a look at how many people are still without power. We started following this earlier early this morning. Right now, AEP says more than 9,300 people are without power. And that's significantly lower than what we were able to report to you this morning when there were over 12,000 who had power outages. AES, that's the company that serves the Logan County area, Logan and Shelby County. They tell us that 7,500 people are also in the dark. They have just over 500,000 customers out there, so they're also working. This morning on Wake Up CBUS, we talked with Mary Ann Cable from AES, and she's cautioning people that, we, that they know you want to clean up, but there are down power lines in that area, so be careful. And the key thing, key thing is to be safe. We can't stress enough with residents that, you know, with a down power line, stay away. Mm -hmm. Consider it live. Make sure you call us and report those. In fact, AES customers can report outages online at aesohio.com slash outages, or you can call the number that we will get for you on the screen. There it is at the bottom. You see it right on your screen right now. You can call that 877-4-OUTAGE if you have a problem there and you're an AES customer. Our 10 TV crews are reaching out to lawmakers, to officials, law enforcers, people in the communities. Plus, we're getting more videos showing the damage 
and the storm that moved through. We will have all of that for you right after the break. We'll see you then. <laughs> 